Have you ever heard of Muscovy ducks? Well, the Muscovy duck has much to offer. Eggs, meat, and great pest control. They are low maintenance, quiet, and fit in very well with chickens and other fowl. You can even keep them without a pond or a stream nearby. Muscovies will just be happy with a small paddling pool as their water source. Muscovy ducks aren't nearly as wild about water as mallard-derived breeds, but they still need plenty of clean water daily. And yes, they are the only duck that is not derived from the mallard duck. In fact, they are not even technically considered a duck at all. They are a large waterfowl, something between a goose and a duck. They're wildly spread along the South Texas and even exist a little bit in Florida. Um, At first, they became a little bit of a problem. Um, They multiply really fast because they're great parents. The moms will hatch out their eggs, sit on them perfectly. So we kind of got excited about that and we're looking forward to more ducklings in the future. But like I said, um, Muscovy ducks are great for eggs, meat, and pest control. And one of our biggest reasons for picking Muscovies is they're big. And the meat tastes kind of like more on the side of beef. So we're kind of excited to be processing some. But we will keep some for eggs and to be put around the yard for pest control, probably during the winter time before our gardening season starts. So yeah, that's what I said. I remember in past videos, I told you guys that we were planning on raising them in the garden. Yeah, we ended up doing that. Just wait and see what I'm talking about. All right, there they are. They're getting so big, aren't they super cute? All of their feathers are coming in, which once they get a little bit older, we're going to go ahead and clip their feathers because Muscovies are one of those ducks that actually fly and they fly high. So make sure if you have a small homestead like us and we don't have too many predators that will come and get them. They're big birds, but clip their wings, clip their wings. So at first, besides the little chipping at a few leaves, we thought it would be okay to keep them in the garden. We had a big water source for them and we gave them their own feed in a bowl that they were actually used to eating. But as we continue to watch them day by day, they've been in the garden for about two weeks now, I started to realize that a lot of my plants were going missing. The older they started getting, the more hungry they started getting. And I mean, we put them in the middle of like the buffet. They had insects, they had plants, they had all sorts of good stuff that they wanted. They started climbing in my beds, they started going through the cages that I had around my plants. What I noticed is they don't like tomato plants and they don't like pepper plants. So those were pretty much the only plants that were really saved. But look at that guys, check it out. Those are my squash plants. They were eating all my courgettes. Look at the little bites in them, (laughs) all of the leaves. They were taking hold of all of my seedlings. They absolutely adored the Swiss chard and the comfrey. So this kind of gives me a little bit of a look at what they enjoy. Look at my watermelon plants, all gone. (laughs) Thankfully, we didn't have like a ton out there. So um, I don't mind too much, but we decided that we're gonna have to move them with the other ducks. And with doing that, I'll be able to plant some more comfrey and different things in their run with the other ducks because obviously they love it so much. Also, a special thing about this is they did get rid of a ton of pests. I mean, the squash bugs went down so, so much, um, pretty significantly. So I'm thinking right before spring, I'll have them in my garden in the winter time, probably for a month or so, so they can get down all the pests and scratch up things and do whatever they do as ducks. And then I'll have my garden ready for next spring.
ate the entire plant. It pooped! It pooped! Now for the fun part. My husband and my daughter Lila, they are out and about trying to catch these ducks. Our ducks were not looking forward to leaving. They did not know what was going on. They had already gotten used to the garden. I mean, they have tons of space to grow and eat and just have a blast. So it was not fun moving them. And I honestly felt bad, but we just have to do what we have to do. This garden is very important to us in our family. Our produce comes first. And plus I'll make their run all pretty and nice for them, full of different things that they enjoy. Oh, and just a little add-in. Remember all the times I told you that our dog Daisy loves our animals and she's so sweet to our rabbits and our chickens and everything? Boy. Well, we discovered that she is not a fan of the Muscovy ducks, like at all. We've had to chase her. One of the ducks got out at one point when they were smaller and she was losing it. So we make sure that we turn on the fence and keep them in a spot where they're not free ranging in our yard because I'm kind of afraid what our dog would say. And as you can see, we just put them in their new home. That is our temporary pond. We're gonna work some things out to make it really nice. Um, and they are with the Welsh Harlequins now. Our Welsh Harlequins, especially the females, are not liking that they're there but I'm hoping to give it a few days and they'll get used to each other. They're just gonna have to get over it because you know what? This is their new home and this is what it's going to be. Well, thank you for watching our video. I hope you learned something. Muscovies do not belong in your garden.